Okay, I think we're set. So how about some video games, everybody? Okay, this is the GOG version, which has all the tables. So I'll be playing a little bit of all of the tables. I don't know if I'll be playing them, all of them today. Again, I want to play some Jill of the Jungle too. Damn, I can't wait to play that video game actually. So yeah, I used to play this back in the day. Oh shit. Good start. I used to play this all the time. I had the shareware version that only had the Super Android table. Hey, Scython. How are you doing today? I'd rather restart it because, yeah. Wait, do I have another ball? For some reason. I'm still alive, even though I do want to die. Okay. Five balls. Why? Why so generous all of a sudden? Is this seriously a high score? Such low standards then. Okay, no, 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 no. There's even a round of applause. Seriously, game. You're mocking me. Yeah, for some fucking reason, those games don't receive enough love over the internet. It's all about the Marios, the Sonics, the Mega Mams. I had the privilege of playing Mario, Sonics, Mega Mans, and also those games. It was kind of an advantage of not having your own console as a kid, basically because you constantly go to your friend's house, your neighbor's house, play the shit they have, and you get to play everything. I got to play everything, NES, Super NES, Genesis, PC, around the same time. Lucky bounces. I love it. I used to get this power up thing more consistently back in the day. Again, it's been a good 20 years since I played this so often that I became actually decent at it.
slowly getting used to this. Well, here's the thing, Scython. You missed out on the DOS era, however, you still like it, the fact that I'm playing DOS games. But what happens with the majority of people that grew up with the Nintendos and the Segas? Well, essentially they're fucking biased. They have a fucking biased opinion. So basically they ignore any sort of game that they did not grow up with. And they're so fucking lazy that they do not want to explore other possibilities. So basically whenever I upload or stream a DOS game, they completely ignore it because it's not the type of game I grew up with. So I don't know it, therefore, I don't want to watch it. That's the mentality a lot of people have. Sometimes, even unconsciously. They ignore it because they don't know it. When it should be the complete opposite. I know this, not because my, my you know, I felt like thinking about that. Actually, there was one person that was honest enough to actually tell me that in one comment a long time ago. When I did an arcade game. You had this on a floppy disk? Well, we used to traffic all of this... ...shareware games back in the day with floppy disks. Oops. We usually used to, like, fit one or two demos max. In each floppy disk. And exceptionally we got CDs. Last ball. Of course those CD games were complete. No shareware but freeware. And as I told you at the beginning. When I had this back in the day, the shareware version only had the Super Android table. So I never had access to any of the others. But I still had hours of fun playing the Super Android table alone. Well, I'm playing the GOG version right here, speaking of which. I always play this game expected to get an ending or something by completing everything, basically powering it up and activating everything. I was very close at some point of doing it. But actually like the quote unquote end to this is a little bit of a message up there saying that the android is basically activated completely. Well, I've been dealing with that for pretty much 10 years now, Scython. Like, ignoring things that basically they don't know. Alright, let's move on to the next table. Someone mentioned the Cyber Girl. Which one is it? This one? Alright, let's go in order in the meantime. Pot of Gold. Is that the one? Okay, I'll take it a look later then. I mean, I will, certainly, but... Maybe we can change the order a little bit. Oops.
So for every table there is supposed to be like an objective. The first one was to basically activate the super android. What about this one? Get the treasure. Get the pot of gold. Spend all the gold on video games. I found a rabbit foot. Now shoot the something something. Oops, last wall. I'm gonna give each table, oh my god, a good fair couple tries each before moving on to the next. Nice, good job. Actually, I think this game, speaking of abandoned wares, it used to be an abandoned ware, not anymore because it's on GOG. It got commercialized again. But I actually remember getting the freeware version to this game. I had it on my older laptop, which is dead, by the way. And I remember getting it from a public DOS website. Oops. I will never be able to play at pinball video games with those shitty bounces. Honestly, when it comes to pinball games, I don't know what the percentage is for skill for you to win at video games like this. Or pinball tables, the real ones for that matter. I don't know, like 60% skill, 40% luck, which is still a fucking lot. Nice. Shoot treasure hole. I hate those bumpers in every single pinball. All right, ball four. Last one. So yeah, I suck at pinball, if you guys haven't noticed. Alright, out of here. Let's uh, do the cyber girl. Cyborg girl, alright. I actually saw this one in screenshots. CPU hog, icebreaker, tense deck shoot again, neck.
Yeah, they used to sell uh, some of these um, <clears throat> floppy disks. I I'm starting again. That was fucking horrible. I actually remember uh, buying a Just Jack Rabbit shareware floppy at a leader supermarket. Leader, which is uh, pretty much Walmart these days. So yeah, they used to sell shareware floppy disks on DOS games in supermarkets even. Bad. Virtual Fantasy, Netlag. Crypto, reboot! Okay, I'm paying attention to letters, words. Cybernetic implants? Well, Cyber Girl. Dude, I'm doing pretty bad. So yeah, that was the last one. Wow, I didn't even get a high enough score to enter my initials. Virtual Fantasy. Alright, stop paying attention to words and letters. Get good at the game. No, I disagree. At least I want to get a high score, so I can put my initials in every single table. That will make me a happy man. A happy gay man. I hate life. Hear moanings. Disgusting. Super implants. Bigger cyber titties. I'm doing super bad at this table. At least I'm increasing the titties every time. Game over. Is it enough for a high score? It is. Super proud. Okay, let's try. We have been uh, increasing the size of those cybernetic titties. I guess that's the primary objective to this table.
Dude, I keep... Using the wrong flipper. Again, I did the same fucking thing. I would avoid half of my deaths. If it wasn't for me sucking cocks. As much as I do. Did he get a high score? Yeah, second place. CR. Chili and Retro. Alright, let's continue with the... Order. Okay, did I get a raid? I missed it. Wow, Mother Brain with a raid of 23 people. Thank you very much, Mother Brain. I was kind of taking a look at the Twitch streams this morning when I woke up on my phone and I noticed that you started a Mega Drive quest. Alright, let's go to Excalibur. Okay, there is a good gamer right there who remembers this game. Best notification. Thank you, Klutz, for the follow. No! Got distracted by the follow. What's going on, Implosion? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Seriously, what's with the shitty bounces? Hey, my life. I'm really sucking all sorts of dicks and cocks at pinball. Hey, fun guy, how's it going? Welcome back. Alright, fuck this. I still got a high score out of this. Shitty performance. Yeah, that's what I was uh, actually discussing. Five minutes ago, what's the percentage of skill versus luck in a pinball game? I mean, either it's a video game or an actual pinball table. 60 40, 50 50, what's the fucking percentage? Because I think there is way too much luck percentage involved in mastering a pinball game. However, I still see people mastering pinball games, so I don't know. They have either too much luck or they are too good, or simply I suck dicks, cocks, and penises. Which is likely the, the right answer to that. Exactly with dicks. How's it going, by the way? Oh! Masturbating? No, master hating. Can't read chat, apparently. I mean, I, there is. There must be people who masturbate to <laughs> pinball games, depending on the table. I mean, on MAME, there, be, there must be plenty of porn things.
I missed the follow. I will take it a look. Whoop King. Thank you for the follow. Featuring Canada. Actually, there is an alert about you with. Just waiting for someone new to follow. We got the. The black man screaming alert, we got Canada, we got Whiff, and I think we got something else. And really... Yeah, it's random. Same thing with the... Uh, with the bits, with the um, hosts. I was doing some work, some homework during the weekend. I need one good run in this, seriously. I need to last at least five minutes. And no, this time I'm not talking about my sexual performances. Because five minutes is too much. What's wrong with being gay? All right, last attempt in here. The more I play this game, the worse I'm doing at it. Wow. I don't know if you guys played Pimple Fantasies, which is also a DOS game, that also came out on Amiga. Right in the center, nice. Well, here's the thing, women are disgusting. That's a very good motivation for you not to like them and... Go for dicks. Alright, next. Too much suckage at Excalibur. Crash and burn. How many more are there? Magic, Jungle People, Deep Sea, Enigma. I already did Cyber Girl. Pangea or Pangea, I don't know. Space. I Derby. wanna be a cowboy oh. and you could be my cowgirl. Hey, right there, Whiff. Thank you for the host. <laughs> yeah, that is you. No! Why, why do I always move the wrong one? Again, I would avoid half of my deaths if I were proficient enough. Honestly, I've never played a pinball game on NES at all. I've heard good things about Pinball Quest.
Where am I from? I mean, my name is obvious enough, isn't it? I'm from Russia, of course. Don't feel so dumb. You realize quickly enough. There's been people over the years asking the same question as you. And they took them um, easily 20 minutes trying to guess my nationality. In your case, you took less than a minute, so don't feel so dumb. There are dumb people out there. Yeah, we Chileans. Um, basically copied the flag from Texas because we thought back in the day that Texas was cool actually no it was the other way around for those who don't know For some reason this table seems more friendly than Excalibur. I mean I did horrible in my first attempt and I'm doing horrible in this one too. Wow. But it seems more friendly. I say that as I Get shitty bounces. You can even get extra balls in here. I need that in my life. But yeah, for those who don't know, I had a testicular cancer five years ago, so I will be making lots of ball jokes. For those who don't understand. I have to explain jokes to people. I just noticed there was an extra flipper up there. Wow. Wow! That was amazing in the bad way. Texas flag. The real flag. Okay, at least I filled the leaderboard with my own scores. Magic. So what time are you lifting today with? I will have to do the strategy. Fuck around with the flippers all day.
days off. You can't rest. You have to drive every day, all day. Why are you here in the first place? I need that sound actually in my life so I can put it in an alert or something the air honk alright this is not as great of a table as the others in all honesty And I still got first place. Wow, more and more attempts. Guess who is sucking at pinball? That was very quick. I still got second place. Again, the standards in terms of points for this game is are very low. Yeah, take your time ball. No, why? There's nothing I could have done about that one. Seriously. I'm giving up all hope at this point, as you can see. Did I get third place now? Yes, I did. <laughs> 